Hi guys, this is Jamie Peterbaugh with the Aviar Golf Academy in Carlsbad, California. This video segment is completely dedicated to trying to prove one of the most common pieces in golfing advice wrong. And this golfing advice piece is to keep your left arm perfectly straight as you go back. Um, the reason that you do not need to do this is number one, it's going to create a little bit of tension. And number two, it's going to potentially prohibit your body's ability to rotate freely. Um, depending on your flexibility or what you got going for you in your upper body, you might be able to do it or you might not. I want to show you a lot of players that happen to have a bent left arm at the top of their backswing and they still manage to play an unbelievable golf game. So what better to start with world number one ranked player Jordan Spieth. Let's watch him go ahead and go to the top of the backswing. We'll get rolling here. And he reaches the top of the backswing, makes a fantastic rotation with his hips and shoulders. And you can see a bend in his left arm. Now, I think you would agree with me that what he's doing right now is seeming to work really well for him. Um, I would gladly take his playing record. I would gladly take his bank account. I'd gladly take the green jacket that he won this year. Uh, the jacket would probably be a little small on me, but I would still try to make it work. Let's move on, and we'll show you enough players, so hopefully we can prove our point. Andres Romero, who nearly won the British Open at Carnoustie when Harrington beat Sergio Garcia in the playoff with a very bent left arm, actually even more than Jordan's. Another winner on tour, Kevin Stadler, who makes a fantastic turn away from the ball. And for anyone to look at this backswing and to say that there's a fault with his left arm does not know what the heck they're talking about. If you can watch this guy hit in person, you need to be focusing on what this guy is doing right, not on something that could be wrong with his golf swing. A bent left arm is all right, and this guy's actually getting pretty close to 90 degrees of left arm bent. Another player, Spencer Levine, swings up to the top, a bent left arm. Russell Henley, who happened to win his first event as a rookie on the PGA Tour, up to the top. Easy to see that there is a bend in the left arm. My personal favorite golf swing that's out there these days is Louis Oosthuizen. Every instructor has a favorite swing. This guy's been mine for a while. And as he turns up to the top, not hard to see that there is bend in the arm. So instructors at times are going to say that the reasoning that you need to have a straight left arm is for the geometrical sake of maintaining a radius. And if you are to maintain a radius, that you will have more power and more consistency. Now, if you want to think about the golf swing from geometrics, I guess that's fine, but I'm going to stand on the side of the table in this argument that is more favoring what good players actually do versus what sounds right. So someone like Louie and plenty of these players have got a lot of power, even though they're not keeping their quote-unquote radius as they go back. Let's go to a very powerful player, two-time major winner, Masters and U.S. Open champion, Angel Cabrera. Let's watch him swing up to the top of his backswing. Now, Angel had a one-stroke lead going into the 72nd hole of the U.S. Open in 2005 at Oakmont, and he proceeded to hit his drive 350 yards down the middle of the fairway, and he made his par and won the tournament. He was able to do this with a turkey leg. His left arm is rated right about 90 degrees. So it seems to work okay for these guys. We'll go to DJ. Now the announcers marvel at this guy's width. And while he looks extremely wide, if you're paying attention and you actually see the swing in slow motion, and we're talking about position, the left arm is absolutely bent. So how does a guy that has a bent left arm appear so wide? Well, it starts to beg the question of whether Dustin Johnson is extremely wide because he's pushing the club away, or if he just happens to have extremely long arms. And 
I have to think it's the second option. So very long and powerful players can bend their left arm, and it's okay. To call that a fault, I'd have to say you don't understand what a fault is. Let's go to Steve Stricker. Another, another player that the announcers and the golf coverage love to comment on with. And he has a fantastic golf swing, and it's so repeatable. He's such a consistent player, and yes, he appears wide. But paying more attention to it, we see that the left arm is not nearly as rigid as what the naked eye really makes it look like. Okay? Um, we'll go over a couple more players. PGA champion Keegan Bradley. Now, when he's hitting longer clubs, such as his driver, you'll actually see even more bend as the rotation gets a little bigger in his turn going back. So Keegan's bent. Robert Allenby, um, respected by many as one of the best ball strikers on tour, even with not winning a whole lot in the, on U.S. soil. During Tiger's reign, he was actually, from a strokes gain perspective, one of the best ball strikers during that time. So there's plenty of good players. There's also some players that I do not have video to prove that are actually bent at the top of their backswing as well. Some of these players would include Chesson Hadley, Phil Mickelson, Justin Thomas, USAM champ Steve Melnick, Max Homa, Will McGirt, David Lynn. Take a look and see it. Another interesting player that is really hard to get video coverage of is Calvin Peake. And Calvin Pete was a fantastic golfer, and he actually fell off a tree when he was a child and broke his left arm. For the remainder of his life, he was never able to extend his left arm. Okay? So he had to swing with a bent left arm back and through, and he managed to be one of the straightest drivers to ever play the game. So with this argument that I'm trying to create, I hope that it is beneficial to your game. I hope it's beneficial to your overall understanding of the golf swing. And should you ever have a question or want to know more information, go to our company's website, www.aviargolfacademy.com. Thanks for watching this, and I wish the best for your golf games. Cheers. Mm -hmm.